Hello everyone! In today's video, we will learn how to simulate a differential equation with time-varying inputs and coefficients in MATLAB. So, here is an example of a second-order ordinary differential equation with time-varying constant, k2 of t, and with an input. Now, if this is simply a constant that does not depend on time, and if we don't have any input on the right hand side, then we can simply formulate a state space model and we can use the ODE45 MATLAB function to compute x as a function of time. So that's the goal, to approximate x of t. However, here the situation is a little bit more complex since the coefficient and the inputs are the functions of time. Consequently, to solve this problem, that is, to approximate the solution x of t, we will have to interpolate this function k2 of t and the value of u of t, and I'm going to explain that in the sequel. So here is the post I prepared in order to explain the simulation process. We start with equation 1 that represents our system that is, that's a second-order ordinary differential equation. And notice here that for simplicity, I only assume that u of t is a function of time and I assume that k2 is a constant. However, everything that I will explain in this video can easily be generalized for the case when k1 or k2 are functions of time. For the time being, I assume only that u of t is a function of time. Now, uh, in order to simulate this uh, system or this ordinary differential equation we need to introduce state space variables so we're going to call x as x1 and we're going to call x2 as uh, actually x dot as x2 now using this uh, notation over here we can formulate a state space model that looks like this so x one dot is equal to x2 by reading this equation and x2 dot is equal to minus k2 multiplying x1 minus k1 multiplying x2 and plus b u of t. So this is a state space model and these matrices are a and b. Okay, so let's explain the MATLAB code. As you can observe, I created a new script and I'm going to execute this code from the script. So you can easily execute the code by selecting the piece of code and, click, and clicking on evaluate selection. In this way you can execute arbitrary lines of code. So first we define the state space model. Notice that I choose uh, the parameters of 0 0.1 and 5. You can play with this code, you can select arbitrary values and the constant multiplying the input is equal to 2. These two matrices C and D are not important for the time being. And first I'm going to define the input signal. So I'm going to simulate my ODE for a sinusoidal input signal. We can plot this signal. So here is our sinusoidal input signal. And I also specify initial condition for simulating the dynamics. Now, you can notice over here that we will be using the OD45 function for simulating the dynamics. The OD45 function takes as an argument another function that defines the right hand side of your dynamics. That is, we need to define a function that for known x and for known u will evaluate the right hand side of this equation. So how to define this function? Well, we're going to back, go back to our code and then we're going to open a new script and we're going to type these lines of code. That is, we're going to define a function dynamics. It will have as arguments time state vector x u input however this input is a vector input defined over here so it's going to be a complete vector not a scalar value and then we're going to provide to this function a time vector again this time is not a scalar 
it's a vector used to define the input function. So this is the vector. And we are going to provide the state space matrices. So this function is going to interpolate on the basis of time u and u and for the scalar value of time it's going to interpolate the current value of the input u and this input u will be provided as a scalar to this function that is when the od45 is iteratively sol solving the, uh, the equation or the ode it iterates through values of t of next so in every iteration whenever this function is called t is a scalar and x is a basically two by one vector since we have two states so this function takes this scalar then on the basis of the vector of u which is a big row vector and time u is a big row vector it interpolates the values and it computes the input int that's again an interpolated value it's a scalar and then it we plug in this scalar in this equation and we evaluate the right hand side so this is a trick for computing for actually for solving the ODE 45 or the differential equation when the coefficients are time varying similarly we can adjust this code for the case when k2 is a known function of time we would simply go over here and provide them another argument that is two additional arguments we are going to provide the time and we are going to provide k as a function of time this will, these will be two vectors and on the basis of these of these values we are going to interpolate the values of k2 or the values of k1 if they are functions of time by adding another line of code that will interpolate these values and we're, we are going to plug them in over here so that's the trick now now that we know that we can save this uh, function as a m file and it's important that the name of the m file corresponds corresponds to the name of the function it will be called in our case dynamics.m and it's going to be saved in a temporary folder you can choose any folder however it's very important that you add this folder to your MATLAB path so you need to basically uh, click here on set path and you need to add this folder over here uh, that's very important why is this important well we're going to call this uh, function dynamics from another script and when you type dynamics MATLAB needs to recognize that dynamics is a function stored in certain folder in our case you can see that the MATLAB is clearly recognizing this function okay now that we have uh, set all the values we can simply call this function with additional arguments of time at which the output or which the states should be computed and we provide the initial condition so by evaluating this, we will obtain our state trajectory that will look like this. So the state trajectory, the first row is x1 as a function of time, and the second, actually, the first column is x1 as the function of time, and the second column is x2 as the function of time. Now, we need to convince ourselves that we are doing a good job. And consequently, it's always important to compare our results with some other method for solving. So we're going to use a built-in LSIM MATLAB function for solving state space models or for simulating the state space models. Consequently, we are going to use the MATLAB control system toolbox function SS. So this function uh, defines a state space model for, uh, for the uh, input matrices A, B, C, and D. C and D define the output equation, and this is how our state space model looks like. And then we are simply going to simulate such a state space model using the function LSIM. We provide the name of the state space model, the input vector, the time vector, and the initial state. 
And now we have the state trajectory 2 and state trajectory 1. The state trajectory 1 corresponds to the solution computed using the function OD45 and the state trajectory 2 corresponds to the solution computed using the LSIM function. Let us now compare these two results. So we are going to compute the error. Okay, so this is the error between x1 computed using OD45 and x1 computed, computed using LSIM. And let's plot the results. So first we plot two state trajectories on the same graph. And let's see the results. Aha! Uh -huh. So the red line is the OD45 solution. X1 is a function of time. You notice, you can notice that it's a function that oscillates, right? And the black line corresponds to the state trajectory computed using the LSIM. And we see a very good match, actually. Now, let us plot the error. We can simply plot the error by just evaluating this. And we can observe that the error is small, which is a good indication that these two methods are actually that our method based on OD45 works well. Okay, that would be all for today. Thank you very much for your attention. If you like this video, please support this channel, channel or subscribe. Thank you very much and have a nice day.